the Chase Thomas Podcast for people who have nothing but time to kill. It's a state in West Virginia. Two of those three teams you didn't you don't really do well against. Mm. So let's operate under that assumption that they miss a bowl game, Paul. Uh-huh. Is that it for Dave Aranda? At this point, I would say no. Okay. Um, I don't I don't think anything would ever be off the table. We uh if you watch our show, you know we have the AD Mac Rhodes on every week. Mm. And he's very, very forthcoming with us. And I don't think that they're at that point right now. Now, I mm. do think you have good potential to see a new offensive staff if they make a bowl game or not. Mm. I think that will certainly happen. I don't think – and here's here's where there's two two paths you can diverge on, mm. on, on Dave Aranda. One is what I think Mac Rhodes is thinking right now is – I've got one of the most brilliant dudes in the world. And if I send him out the door one day, he's going to figure it out for somebody else. Who's not us. Hmm. And think about bill Belichick with the Browns, right? Hmm. The Browns had one of the most brilliant head coaches in the world and sent him out the door. Cause they got impatient. Yeah. Now the world of college football is different and you can't be as patient as you were before. But you also, there are shortcuts to success that don't didn't exist before. Mm. So if you can get it right, you can get it right pretty quickly. I mean, you know, you can point to several teams that are in contention for conference titles or the CFP right now that just a couple years ago, if you had been on the old standard of like, well, you gotta wait, wait five years for him to get a recruiting class in and through and all that, yeah. then we'll know where it is. Well, no, that's that's not necessarily the case. If you do it right, you can improve incrementally, you know. Mm. Um, a lot faster than you than it was like, well, we got to strip it all down to the rivets. Yeah. So I don't think that he wants to do that because I do think that getting rid of Dave Aranda, you do run that risk of all of a sudden, you know, seven, eight years from now, Dave Aranda is hoisting a national championship trophy for somebody else because he used all the mistakes that he made here mm. and then figured them out because he's the... Um, What's the biggest mistake he's made at Baylor? Um, I think it's, I think it's the, the recruiting, the transfer portal. I think that's the mm. biggest thing. Does um, he know that? I think he does. I think he's, mm. I think he's aware of it. I think that, and they, um, they've missed on some guys. Like they've got to, mm. they've got to shake up their recruiting. Uh, they've missed on some guys. How so much does it hurt just Texas as a whole kind of being up that TCU making the national title last year, um, Texas tech and McGuire and his high school connections, a and um, being the force that they are. How much of that has played into it? Now, I, the only thing I think that Joey McGuire has hurt by going to Texas Tech, mm-hmm. and I love Joey McGuire, uh, right now is just that there are some recruits that he's getting away from them that they would have gotten if he was still there. Mm-hmm. I don't know that's necessarily the 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 hire that makes all the difference, right? Like, like yeah, I don't know if Joey McGuire is going to be the guy that's going to take Tech to that ne- to that next level. I think he will, um, you know, contend for conference titles, but it's going to take. A couple years. I mean, he's, but if he's there, are you getting that five star receiver that he just got? Um, I mean, maybe so. I mean, the guy's from just down the road. I mean, he's yeah. like, like literally thirty five minutes from from McLean. Those Stadium, never so. feel good. Yeah, those yeah. never. Feel so good. now, now look. Okay, the five star receiver. The other problem is, and like Baylor's NIL needs to get better. Hmm. Um, I think they're not the only ones who have a problem with it, but. Compared to Texas Tech, who's you know who's got one of the better, uh, more cohesive NIL collectives that there is, uh, hmm. yeah, they've got to get better. You know, um, are they working to get better? When you're talking to the idiot, like how is that going? Do you I, think I, it's I, coming? I think that they are, but like we don't like we've only heard bits and pieces of that. Like hmm. I think that the people in charge don't want to come out and say like, yeah, we've got these great ideas, but they're not in place yet. Yeah, and because that spooks a fan base. Yeah, exactly. Like, hey, this is great. Like, well, t- that you don't want the. Um, you don't want a Jaden Rashada situation. Yes. No, like, you know, that's that's the like the worst one, but there's probably like minor versions of that that happen other places. Yeah. It's just nobody was dumb enough to tell a kid who hadn't taken a snap yet, like, <laughs> yeah, $13 million, here you go. Like, yeah, that was um I, I know that the University of Florida, who uh, you know, as a Florida State grad, I do kind of in- oh. 